What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have another Duelist Alliance box opening for you guys. We did just freaking phenomenal in the last one, so I hope this one will be just as good. I've done some more of the Yang Zing cards, as the Telenites, and of course Burning Abyss, I guess. That's kind of another one. Uh, but yeah, those are the main archetypes I plan on building around, so those are the main ones I'm looking for. Although, you know, Shadal cards definitely would not be a bad thing. Uh, of course, I got this from StrikeZoneLine.com. Be sure to check them out. It's always link in the description so I get, you know, all the stuff I use for, like, box openings and stuff, too. And, uh, yeah, it's always link in the description. Let's see what we get. I'm already excited. Uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, probably most excited about this set than I have been for any of the other ones in quite a while, to be very honest. Because, like, just about every archetype from this set, I want to build uh, a deck around. And that's not good for me on that, because then I start promising a bunch of deck profiles. But hopefully this time I'll actually deliver. I know I will on the other stuff, the ones that I just talked about. But, you know, there's some others I'm thinking about too, like maybe uh, a normal monster pendulum deck, and, and some other things too. Which I can't really promise, but if I have some free time, definitely have to try something on that. I don't know about Shadal's either, we'll see. Anyway, we have a Shadal Falco. I'll build Shadal's if I can actually get all the cards for them. I, I don't really plan to spend a lot of money on them because I prefer Yang Zing's over them. That's my personal opinion, even though Shadal's are really strong. I'm not saying they aren't. But for my the way I play the game, I, I prefer Yang Zing's better. It's kind of more my play style. Because I, I really like Ghost of too, and they really remind me of them. Uh, another Burning Abyss card, one of the rares. We're starting to really get all of them. That comes in handy. And then, of course, there's a Forma Pal Hip Hippo. I like that card. It's kind of growing on me now. First, I was thinking, you know, Hippo with a top hat, really? Is that what you're going to go with? I like the card now. I, I, I can't help it. See a Shadal Dragon? Glad to see the Gaia cards in this, too. All the different stuff. Let's see, we have a Spy C Spy. It's supposed to be like a short print, I believe, in this. Are you a Perfect Ace? Pilgrim Reaper, it's going to be the card that's going to troll everyone. That and the number card, because uh, you see it kind of behind you, you're like, oh cool, I got a Hollow XC monster. No, nah, not really. Even though they're both cool monsters, they're not the Hollow ones you're probably looking for. <laughs> Let's see, what else can we get from this? We have a Panzer Dragon, good rare, and Shadal Fusion. Very nice. I always see people wanting this card, so again, I don't know, maybe if I do get all the cards I need, I might build them. I, I don't know. I can't really make any promises on that, but uh, also, I feel like I have to say this now because of the new way the new card designs. It's first edition. It's just right down there, right now, instead of being uh, there. So, for people that are wondering, yeah, they are first edition. Konami just moved where you see it. Is it annoying? Yes, but yeah. Everyone always asks me that on these newer pack things, so I feel like, even though, you know, I'm like a broken record having to say it every time, I feel like I kind of have to say something. We won't for the next set, though, because hopefully everyone will be used to it by then. Skarm, which is Burning Abyss. There you go. Another the another one of them. Hopefully I can get Dante. I, don't, I guess I'm going to need a few Dantes, too. That's one of those that I'm hoping I'll be able to do that profile on soon, but if not, we can do something like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, and then I'll search for the cards and do another one. Right, another Burning Abyss Rare. That's kind of my game plan right now, too, is to just go ahead and do their profiles. That way I can kind of give you guys some ideas on what I'm going with and stuff. And uh, then when I do an update, which is probably the end of August, early September, uh, I should have all the cards that I'm going to need for all those deck profiles, and uh, we can do updates. Another Burning Abyss. And El Shadal Construct. Uh, yeah, I kind of like the other name of it, but this card is so freaking just scary looking. I said before, I don't like dolls. They, they creep me out. But uh, this card just looks so cool. I mean, uh, I get over that fear. It just looks so neat. And then, of course, you see, uh, yeah, that's the other one in the background, too. And we got the other one from the other box opening. So this just looks really cool and still kind of creepy. Let's see if, like, uh, what is it? Uh, like, from Sephiroth, the, his mother from there. I can't think of the name now for some reason. Like on Advent Children, like the mask that, when he's like getting his mother out from that or something. Ah. I can't think of the name. That's going to bother me now. Crap. I shouldn't even said that. Uh, Perform a pal, Whip Snake. It's still bothering me. I can't think of the name. Oh well. People, tell me in the comments. Because I probably won't have figured it out by then. See, Shadal Beast. And a Pendulum Back. 
Uh, interesting uh, Super Rare card. I'm going to have to read it and uh, check it out. I don't remember the effect of this one. But, you know, it works with pendulums, I guess. I think so, or is it a counter to them? I'll have to check it out. It looks cool, Lee. I like those magicians on it. That's all that counts, right? Shadal Falco. Last pack for the right side of the box. Let's see, we have a Breaker, the Dark Magical Warrior. I think it's kind of cool how they have like a, I guess an up graded version of him. I, I don't know if he turned evil or what. I don't know if there is a story actually behind Breaker, but it's cool to see, you know, like updated versions of older cards. I hope they start doing that again. Like how they made, you know, Celtic Guardian and then Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. It'd be really cool if they did that again. You a perfect ace? Maybe they will. I hope so. Let's see. What else can we get from this? We have a face-off. Rare card. Seems like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like the art's a little bit better on some of these newer sets as well. I feel like they're uh, trying a little bit more. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Panzer Dragon Rare, and a Dragon Horn Hunter. Yeah, I have a lot of these now. You guys saw all this neat preview stuff I got, but, you know, it's a cool-looking card, so... Sure, why not? Super Rare. Yeah, if you're wondering, too, I always get that question. Uh, you can get the sneak preview card, of course, actually. It, it's actually in the, the packs themselves. As lower rarity, it's uh, super rare instead of being ultra, because uh, the promo you get is ultra. So for people that are wondering on that, oh, I usually get that question. Flash Knight. Not always the best thing. There have been some, you know, sneak preview promos that were really good, though, so that was uh, a good thing to do. Like Reborn Tengu, you know, it was really cool to get, like, uh, the card actually from the pack. And I do like Dragon Horn Hunter. Let's see, Super Heavy uh, Samurai at Big Ben K. I like it too because it's kind of like the uh, art style kind of similar to uh, Noble Knights. So definitely can't wait for that Noble Knight box either. That's what I'm going to do there for follow Noble Knights too, for people that are wondering. Perform a Pal Whip Snake and Shadal Core. There we go. I think I won those sneak preview as well. Super rare. Very nice to get. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests for a Noble Knight that profile, and uh, that will happen whenever the box set comes out, because I don't feel the need to update it until that happens. Because I feel like, uh, or I hope, they're going to be a lot stronger then. Alright, we have Seer of Burning Abyss, and then a, a Time Space Trap Hole Secret Rare! Oh, uh, this is a pretty cool Secret Rare to get. I think this is one of the better ones. Uh, not bad. Uh, still hoping that I can get the uh, Yang Zing and a Dante card, so those are the main two I'm after, but that is that's a really good secret rare to get, too. Looks looks cool, too. I like all the colors and stuff to it. I know. I, 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 I have weird compliments for cards, I guess, but it, it's so shiny. We have a Skarm, Burning Abyss, and then we have a, a Yang Zing Creation. There we go. That's an ultra rare I'm definitely going to need. Gonna need like three of them. So, one closer. Here we go. That's gonna come in handy. We're getting there. Let's see. A lot of traps. I've just noticed a lot of like trap holo cards from this box. N not that that's a bad thing. I'm getting a lot of cool ones. Let's see, uh, perform a pal uh, Turn Toad. Still love that card for some reason. It just looks so silly. I don't know. I, I actually really like the perform a pals, and I thought I would hate them. So. I don't know. They brainwashed me, I guess. We have a, a Satellar Knight Altar. Which is... I don't think I even have one of those, to be very honest. I don't think I got one from the last box, did I? Hopefully it's not like a short printed rare. Maybe I just had bad luck on getting it, because I know I'm going to need like three of them. One step closer, though, at least. Alright, we have another Burning Abyss. I just hate to name the whole name of those two for people that are wondering, because it's a longer name cards. So I know you guys probably get sick of me saying the whole name too every time I get it as a rare. So, I'm trying to save a little bit of time and people's patience. Last pack. I don't know if we're supposed to get another hollow, but let's see. 
We have a UA Mighty Slugger, and ah, oh, couldn't end with a Hollow. I don't think I got an Ultimate Rare though on that, so unfortunate, but oh well. We got uh, a lot of cards I still need though, like Yang Zing Creation. That's gonna come in handy. Like I said, still gonna need a few more of those. And stuff too, and some Shadal cards. Uh, a lot of the good Shadal cards that we're gonna. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build them, but uh, they're definitely gonna come in handy if I do. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, we're gonna have those deck profiles and stuff very soon. So I hope you guys look forward to that. All right, later, guys.